Hey guys, my name is Fabe and welcome back to another vlog. Today we're gonna talk about a bunch of stuff. Let's start out by introducing some new series to the channel. If you guys haven't checked out Ori and the Blind Forest yet, you guys are missing out. The most beautiful game I've seen since I don't know when, since like forever, since like ever. It is the most beautiful game I've seen so far. It is so gorgeous. If you haven't checked out, check at least one of the episodes up just so you get the, the feel of it and maybe you like it, maybe you check out more. I'm definitely gonna plan on releasing more of them. I don't have a fixed slot for the series in my schedule quite yet, but I'm sure we'll figure something out. But uh, right now I'm just releasing it as I play it and we'll see how well that goes. Another new series, well, new season, is Banished Colonial Charter. And also, if you haven't checked out the first season of Banished, now is the perfect time to get into the series. We are starting a brand new town in Banished and we are using um, a really big mod pack which allows us to try out a lot more different stuff that has that has not been added to the game but it definitely makes the late game especially way more interesting. So I'm really looking forward to that series. Still coming out on Tuesdays and Fridays right now and I think I want to keep that up. By the time this video goes out, you probably already have seen my time shot Tower of the Nations time lapse, and this took me ages. And I'm going to talk about it a little bit more in the next time shot episodes, but I want to talk about the time shot series for a bit. As you guys know, my final exams are coming soon, so I can't spend as much time making progress anymore, at least on time shots. So what I plan on doing is do more like uh, rambling episodes, <laughs> like Poet doesn't. Usually I want to try if I can do it. Um, a, a few more of those and having a little less progress for the next couple of weeks at least. Uh, we'll see how it works out. If it doesn't work out, I might have to cut down on time shot episodes per week, down to one episode per week or something like that. But we'll figure that out as we go. I just wanted to give you guys a fair warning so you know what you get yourselves into. Staying with the time shot topic, by now you probably already heard that the time shot UHC season 7 is gonna be um, a fan UHC. So all the members participating are gonna have a contest and you all guys, you can enter for every one of them. And if you're lucky, you can play a UHC with one of your favorite time shot members as partner. I'm sad that I have to say that I most likely will not be able to participate because this UHC is exactly when my, when my final exams are. And I'm pretty sure I have my head full with this stuff. So I, I don't think I, I'm in the mindset to play UHC. So unfortunately I will most likely not participate because all the other members have their contests right now. If you have been waiting for me for whatever reason you would want to do that, of course. If you wanted to win, you were waiting for my contest. I can see that. <laughs> but um, please don't. Please enter other contests and uh, if you want to play in the time to UHC. And good luck to all of you. Next time when we do a similar thing, I hopefully will be able to participate. But until then, try your luck with someone else. <laughs> Maybe you'll find another winner. <laughs> but now, let's talk about the Don Fan room. <laughs> and that is... Pokemon! I talked about it last time. And uh, I decided to start a Pokemon series on my channel. Here's how we're gonna do it. We are gonna play through the history of Pokemon games. So we're gonna start in the first generation and then we move on to the second generation and then to the third generation. And I'm gonna play these three generations um, obviously in emulator since there's no capture card for the old Game Boy advances. So I'm gonna do that. And then for the fourth generation that I haven't played ever in my life yet, we would need the capture card. And I think what I want to do is I want, first of all, I want to start with the yellow version just to test out how you guys like it, if you're really interested in the series. And I think this is a perfect way to find out if you guys really like the Pokemon idea before I have to invest the money into getting a new Nintendo 3DS plus the capture card for that. In addition to that, all the donations that you guys give to me will go towards the 3DS capture card from now on. So every donation I get from you guys through PayPal, I'm gonna to put towards the new Nintendo 3DS plus the capture card. And the goal for that would be around $500. So I set the goal to be $500. And as soon as I reach, I'm gonna get a Nintendo 3DS plus the capture card. 
independently of how well the previous Pokemon um, series went on my channel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let the top donor of each season decide what rival's name for the next season is gonna be. So all the donations that come in throughout the time that, for example, the yellow version runs, get, go towards the Nintendo Capture Card and the top donor will get to decide the name for the next season's rival. And that's starting right now. So if you donate between the time right now and the day I start the yellow version or I record the first episode of the yellow version, if you're the top donor, you get to decide what the rival's name is. So make sure if you donate to me within the next months probably, make sure you include a suggestion for a rival's name. I'm gonna take anything. Whatever you say, this is gonna be the name. So make sure you include the message with your donation. I think there could be some funny names in there. So I'm really excited to see what you guys can come up with. So you might be asking how much time do you have? The first episode of the yellow version is probably not gonna happen within the next one or two weeks. I hope I can get it done within the next two weeks, but I can't make any promises. I'm still waiting for something and I need to get everything set up. And I want to give you guys a little bit of time to decide if you wanna donate to maybe get the first uh, rival's name of our first season of Pokemon. I'm really excited to play these games, I can tell you. And of course, if you guys know how, how people play Pokemon nowadays, they usually try some sort of challenge. The most popular one is, I think, the, the Nutslock challenge, which only allows you to capture one Pokemon in every route, and it has a bunch of other rules. However, since I haven't played Pokemon in so long, and I really need to get back into it first. I'm not gonna do such a hard challenge in the first version I play. However, I thought about doing the so-called catchless challenge, especially with the yellow version, I think it would work kinda well. That means that I'm not allowed to catch any Pokemon. I'm only allowed to play with Pokemon that people give to me, basically. And especially in the yellow version, some of you might remember that, you get quite a few cool Pokemon um, gifted to you. So I thought about doing that. Tell me what you think in the comments. It might be more exciting to just catch Pokemon and play the game normally. But uh, I want to hear you guys' opinion. It's the only challenge that I thought would maybe fit, especially the yellow version um, with which we are going to start. But yeah, I think that's all I have to talk about today. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave your thoughts down in the comments. I really want to know what you think about my plan and if I still have it to adjust it a little bit, but uh, I really like it. I'm really excited for the future and I hope you guys are just as excited as I am. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.